What makes me feel beautiful? Smiling. Showing everybody who I really am. Knowing that I can be exactly who I want to be. When I smile, I feel like the happiest, best version of myself. And that's the person I want to be, and that's the person I want to show. And even when I'm feeling down, if I put a smile on my face, eventually I'm going to mean it. So that's why my smile makes me feel like the most beautiful Sam that I can be. Today for my skin, I'm going to be using the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream. It's color correcting and full coverage. My color is in the color Fair. I'm applying it with the Heavenly Lux Flat Top Buffing Foundation Brush. This is really great for canceling out redness on my skin and I really didn't even need concealer which is amazing because I like to keep it light and airy if I can. So oh, this product is dynamo. This is the 10 in 1 Dual Ended Eyeliner Brush and I'm using this in combination with the Build Brow in Blonde. It's waterproof and it has building fibers to help my sparse brows actually look like there's brows there. I absolutely love this product. I find that the color matches my natural hair really, really well and you guys know I have super sparse eyebrows so I'm just using the eyeliner brush to flick the product through and it creates the illusion of real hair. Taking the Naturally Pretty Eyeshadow Palette in Volume 1, I'm going to be using Sheer Joy and I'm going to be applying that with the Heavenly Lux Number no. 5 Dual Eyeshadow Brush all over the lid, up to the brow and on the moving part of the lid. This is going to help create a blank canvas. Now I'm going to be going in with Soulful and I'm going to use that to add some depth into the crease. This is an absolutely a beautiful shade and it gives just a nice soft contour into the lid. Now I'm going to dip into Jot which is this absolutely beautiful shade and I'm going to use the opposite end of the eyeliner brush and I'm going to do some outer V work. Now I'm just going to lightly tap the color and slowly trace it into the outer V, not putting too much um, pigment onto the eyelid, just very lightly applying it. You can always add more. We're going to do blend, apply, blend, apply, just so we don't overload that outer V area. You can see here that I'm taking the uh, eyeshadow brush and I'm just blending that in. I really want this to be a soft transition. I don't want any harsh lines, but for any of the eyeshadow that I kind of blended away, I'm adding a little bit more and blending it again. I really want to just keep this soft and delicate. Whatever's left on the end of the eyeshadow brush, the liner brush, I'm just running that onto the lower lash line and then smudging that out for just a soft bit of definition. For my lid, I'm just dipping into Love using my finger and I'm just gently applying that to the first two thirds of my eyelid up to where Java was placed in the outer V. I just wanted to really keep the eyelid nice and bright and now I'm just blending the two together so it looks nice. I'm popping a little bit of the Transforming Pearl shade into the tear duct to really highlight the area. This brightens up the whole look and it just makes you look so wide awake and healthy and fresh. After giving it a quick clean -a I'm using my eyeliner brush and I'm going in with Liner Love, which is a gel eyeliner in the color black. I'm going to be doing just a soft, simple eyeliner, a very, very slight wing and I'm keeping the eyeliner as close to the lash line as possible. I'm applying the No Tug Waterproof Gel Eyeliner in Black Brown to the lower lash line just to add a little bit of definition, just very softly, and I'm smudging it out. For mascara today, I'm going to be using the Tightline Mascara at the base of the lashes. This really separates my lashes and it helps with getting mascara right at the base to make them look extra black. And then I'm going in with the Hello Lashes Mascara, which helps with the thickness and length. And boy, does it add both. Now it's time to set the rest of the face. I'm using the Your Skin But Better CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder all over my face. This has the most beautiful finish, you guys. It just makes your face look airbrush, especially when you use the Heavenly Luxe Airbrush and Powder Brush that I'm using here. It is so big and beautiful and soft, you guys. It just makes you look airbrushed. No joke. Legit. I'm not even joking. It's so good. I wanted to rub it all over my face for like an hour. To give my face that lit from within look, I'm going to be using highlighter before blush today. I'm using the Hello Light Illuminating Powder on my cheekbones, and I'm being very generous with this. I'm not going to lie. It is so good, and I'm actually popping a little bit of this in my tear duct because it was just so beautiful I couldn't resist. 
Now for blush, I'm using the Vitality Cheek Flush in the color Matte Sweet Apple. It is so beautiful and natural. I love it so much. And I'm putting that on my cheekbones just to add a natural flush of color. It really just makes you look healthy and happy and ugh, I love this color. Since I'm keeping everything soft and simple, I wanted to do the same with the lips. I'm going in with the Vitality Butter Gloss in Naturally Pretty. It's such a soft, beautiful, buttery lip gloss. It's not sticky at all, and it just gives your lips that beautiful and natural look, which I was really looking to achieve today. And to finish off the look, I'm going back in with the Tightline Mascara and putting some mascara on my lower lashes just to finish off the look. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I had so much fun creating this and I love It Cosmetics. I love the way they want you to embrace your naturally beautiful self. I think that is a great message and I fully support it. I hope you guys will give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video.